We have four wins. We would like more wins. One loss, so no matter what, we should be safe to continue after this unless a disconnect happens or the building lights on fire and our house melts to the ground. In which case, I think they have bigger problems in the arena anyways. Yeah. Priests, which can be quite annoying in the arena. And we have a couple things we're tossing. Some of the four drops we might keep, not that one. And I love the fire elemental, but not in the opening hand. Okay, alright. We can do some things with that. Not much, but it could be worse. And an actual turn two minion of sust substance. Substance. Substance? Substance. If we want it. Tch. Okay. Let's hope we get like the egg or something. I don't know which of my cards I get. I guess the crocodile would be the best for him to get? I don't know. Luckily we didn't have Ragnaros in hand yet. Because that would be the worst. That would for sure be the worst. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Himself, himself, and me. That seems fair. <laughs> I think we're just going to take that trade. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take the trade then. Take the trade, play the egg. Because we have activators for it now. Well, an activator. Stand ready. The damned are quite ready for this, by the way. We don't really have a way to kill that, unfortunately. And we're not going to want to burn Hex on that. That's a little bit aggressive. A little bit aggressive. I don't see any reason why we can't do this, though. If he makes the mistake of letting them live, well... Nah, he's going to get value out of that now, though. That's okay. We can still kill it. Uh, three mana. Seems pretty straightforward. Let's be greedy. Now he could play a minion and then trade with the Dark Cultist to get its effect, and that's okay. But I actually want that Cleric out of there pretty badly. I don't want him to start running on this ridiculous hand advantage on me. Because we don't have a lot of ways to draw. We also have Ragnaros in hand, but he'll have mind control as an option in two turns. So, you know, that's a thing. I'm really tired of our Flame Tongue totems getting silenced. Like, I've had about enough of that. Pass me that art light scanner. That's getting obnoxious. I don't like it. Eh, whatever. That doesn't really bug me much. Hmm. Okay. I think we'll do Your that. Magic shall not save you. And that. Taunter. Coolio. The best option we could get there. So I'm kind of forced to start thinking long term, like, okay, if I play Ragnaros turn 8, should I just keep my Hex to make sure he doesn't mind control and I don't have any options for dealing with Ragnaros all of a sudden? It's stupid, but these are the things I have to consider. That would be a great hex target there, but it's not happening. Instead, this and this. I wonder how long that ruby egg is going to sit there. I wonder if he can ever grow. So 
So our, our ideal play, although it's unlikely to happen, involves him not playing any minions this turn. <laughs> Hit the 4-7 into the 2-3 and heal it, and then pass. So then we kill his 2-4 and Ragnaros comes out and either hits his 4-7 or his face, both of which are attractive options. Well, we'll see. It's unlikely he doesn't play any minions this turn. I guess double trading is an option. I'd be surprised if it happened. I'm also surprised by that. But I guess. Doesn't change our play then. It's kind of what we were looking for. You have a 4 7. That is lovely. You don't have a 2 4 anymore. And now this is happening. Now we also have the whole shadow word, whatever. You know, these things can happen. But we don't really care about those. Because if it doesn't have any of those options, we're having a grand old time with Ragnaros. Um... Well... Let's see what Ragnaros hits. A perfectly acceptable target. Okay, we're still a turn out for mind control. We didn't see Shadow Word, so it's unlikely we're going to see it now unless he just top decked it. Okay, I guess. I don't mind this. Yeah, he steals my card draw, but whatever. There were worse options for all that. You really gonna keep making this Dark Cultist alive still? Okay, I guess. That's happening. We're still kind of in trouble here besides Ragnaros. Obviously Ragnaros is going great for us, but... That'll help. We keep tossing out minions until I feel like we're not tossing out minions anymore. Ragnaros will hit. <laughs> Alright, that works. Anything but the ruby and eggs is pretty much a win for us, so it's cool. Is mind control going to happen, though? Yep, it sure is. Because why have to work to have good cards in your deck when you can just steal someone else's? That's my face. You know, that is a lovely Ragnaros you have there. Not anymore, though. Alright, let's consider. Let us consider. Trade's in our favor, trade's not in our favor. Doesn't really matter there, doesn't really matter there either. So. Uh, if you insist. To battle. Yeah, get that Naruby and egg some health. What'll I do? <laughs> Guess what card I have in my hand? It's a totem. Oh, you played it. I can't believe it. It's a shame you can't destroy it, huh? That's not going to save that either, although it does hurt my board a lot. I don't know how we come back from this. Once again, we found ourselves in a spot where our opponent got a free play for something stupid, and what are you going to do? We knew it was a risk, but we couldn't sit there and wait it out. Okay. That does free up some more options, but are any of them attractive enough to matter? Because that 4 1 is just going to linger. So we play him out, and we hit the 6 6 with 3 damage, right? So it's at 6 3. Then we play the totem, and we run the 4 1 into it. It's dead. The totem still leaves me 2 damage to do to, I guess, the other totem, but then he can activate his Nerubian egg, and that sucks. 
We can kill the totem, but then he has a six six left. So I think our best option actually here is to play him and to take out his totem and to play a totem of our own and then pass. I think that's our best option. Not sure. Tch, that sucks. That'd be a great target for the fire elemental if it wasn't for the whole 6-6 six, six thing. Oh, lovely. Every time we squirm, all we do is waste time, because we're going to lose. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what do we do with this? I mean, we're playing them both, clearly, but... Silence of the Ruby and Egg is pointless. We could silence that guy. We could just outright kill that guy. Silence the Akanai Soul Priest? I wonder... 18 health, 15 damage on the side of the board. Hmm. If we don't if we don't kill it, it becomes a two three if we just silence it. But then the three damage, where does it go? I guess to the six six. Your magic shall not save. I don't know. Yes, yes, very good. The other fire elemental would be super helpful here. Show when Yeti is not enough. I think we're dead. We need the taunter, and even then, we're still dead. Well, how fun. Priest is quickly becoming my least favorite class to face in the arena. Even more so than Mage, because Mage, I understand, is good. Priest just gets these nonsense combos sometimes. All right, four and two. Trying to make it to five. We'll have to see where the next one goes. It could be our last one.